Now on CBS 2, cancer claims the life of punk rocker Joey Ramone, a New Yorker whose music got a generation on its feet. We thank you for staying up late with us this Easter Sunday. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vince Dimitri. And I'm Amanda Grove. Even if the Ramones didn't make your kind of music, many of today's biggest names in entertainment are missing the man from Queens who became famous as Joey Ramone. He inspired Bruce Springsteen to write one of his biggest hits called Hungry Heart, and Ramone even made a fan of novelist Stephen King. CBS2 reporter Sukanya Christian was out tonight talking to fans and friends. The message on one candle outside CBGB's read simply, thanks, Joey. He saved the music scene, actually. The Ramones hit the music scene in 1974, changing the music we listen to from disco to punk. Joey Ramone was born Jeffrey Hyman, May 19, 1951. He was a boy from Forest Hill, Queens, the front man of the Ramones. A tall, gangly lead singer whose signature yelp, leather jacket, tinted glasses, and permanently torn jeans became a uniform of a generation. Music critics say they could barely play knowing only three chords, but their do-it-yourself garage band sound has influenced music across the spectrum, from Green Day to Offspring. I think he brought uh, credibility to, uh, to rock and roll. <laughs> Ramon had been battling lymphoma for several years now. He was hospitalized recently for the last three months. According to Arturo Vega, the band's artistic director, Joey was coherent till the very end. I seriously think he was conscious until the end. I think that this afternoon he was aware of who was there and why we were there. The Ramones disbanded in 1996 after a tour. Since then, Joey kept a low profile. But for his friends tonight, his legacy lives on. I feel like the world is not the same without Joey. And uh, it's a very strange feeling. It's an ugly feeling to be aware that Joey is not here. But he lives a much better world. On the Lower East Side, I'm Sukanya Krishnan, CBS2.